Fresh protests have erupted across Indonesia with riot police firing tear gas at stone throwing protesters. It's the latest spate of unrest over a raft of divisive legal reforms. Over in Jakarta, around 26,000 military and police personnel have been deployed as large crowds chant for change near a heavily guarded parliament. My colleague Saiful Bahri Ismail is at the scene. Saiful, what's the situation like right now? Well, Don, we are about 300 meters uh, away from Parliament House, which is towards the direction on my left. It's not possible to go too close to the Parliament House as there's a lot of stinging fumes from the tear gas. Uh, you may be able to still see the fumes uh, that is hanging in the air where, I'm, where we are at right now. The cameraman and myself had to retreat a few times in just a few minutes ago, I can still hear firecracker sound being thrown by protesters towards the police, and I can also hear sound of tear gas being fired uh, by the police. Now, police have pushed the protesters, protesters back using a lot of tear gas, and hundreds of protesters have now retreated behind me. Protesters have started throwing rocks, bottles, and other projectiles towards the police at about 6 p.m. local time, and security personnel have been forced to respond by firing tear gas towards the protesters. Police have been forced to respond to protect themselves because the rocks, bottles and other projectiles that have been coming towards them thick and fast and so the tear gas are being used to try and disperse the crowd which is beginning to get violent. Now thousands of protesters are taking to the streets again today to protest against several revised bills which they deemed as problematic and undemocratic. I can still uh, see that many of these protesters uh, just uh, about an hour ago, I see many of these protesters are university students wearing different colored jackets to identify which universities they belong to. But I can also see many high school students who are still in their teens. Uh, they are still maybe 15, 16, 17 years old and they want to participate in these demonstrations which have turned ugly. The cycle protesters have been railing against several legal reforms. Has the government said whether it's going to make any con concessions? Well, see, President Joko Widodo has not revoked the revised anti-graft law. Mr. Widodo has said that he will consider issuing a government regulation in lieu of law, what is known as PERPU, after meeting with legal experts and national figures last Thursday. The demands of the protesters today are similar to what had been demanded before, and that's for the government to revoke the revised anti-graft laws that's believed to weaken the powers of the Corruption Eradication Commission and also changes to the criminal law. However, the activists have added one more demand today. They are also urging authorities to take action against those who have acted brutally towards student protesters. Now, besides the revised, the revised anti graft bill, lawmakers have also postponed the deliberation of the revised criminal law and three other bills, namely the Correctional Procedures Bill, Land Bill and Mining Bill. Now, earlier today, President Joko Widodo has also told protesters that it's not a problem for students to organize the demonstrations, but urged the participants not to turn violent and start a riot. He hoped that protesters do not destroy public facilities and assured them that the government is listening to their demands. But it seems that the protesters are not listening to the president. All right, my thanks for that. Saifabari Ismail speaking to us from Jakarta.